Before we get into this video, I'm Amanda Lynn, a holistic kinesiologist and founder of the Brain Rewiring Manifestation tool called iMotional Processes. I've helped countless individuals internationally to succeed with their manifestations, and I know that you can be helped with it too. Today, I want to talk to you about how your mind influences your manifesting, but more importantly, how you can easily recognize and clear your unconscious and subconscious blocks. Understanding the relationship between your conscious, subconscious and unconscious mind is super important when it comes to manifesting. This is because day-to-day -day stress events, human dramas, painful past experiences, or difficult childhood or future fears can create conscious, unconscious, and subconscious emotions and block your manifestation success. But you've got to unblock these if you want to actually step into success. But all of that starts by understanding what your block is, what part of the mind it comes from, and why it's there. Let me explain. Your conscious mind creates your thoughts and your actions and your awarenesses. For example, your manifestation desires are created through your conscious mind when you're working out what it is that you actually want to manifest. Once you decide what it is you consciously want, that's when you get started into visualizing and your vision boards and your tapping and your positive thinkings. And maybe even you might do crazy things like putting cinnamon in your socks. Who knows? Whatever you think is gonna bring that luck and help you manifest that desire. All of that is a conscious activity. Now here's the thing. The law of the universe states that you can manifest your desires provided they're in alignment with the highest good of all and they don't cause harm to others. It's your intention that matters. So if you've got that nailed, then why the heck aren't you still manifesting? Well, let me tell you why. The number one reason that you cannot manifest your desires is that unhelpful emotions, non-expansive thoughts and beliefs have become embedded in your mindset and are acting as subconscious and unconscious blocks and they're blocking your alignment with universal flow. These unconscious and subconscious manifestation blocks are caused by human dramas and traumas from your past, from your childhood, from present situations or future concerns, and they cause unhelpful emotional attachments that clutter your brain's neural pathways and create ingrained grooves that stop you from living your best life. For example, just everyday existence can clutter your brain. Look at what's going on in the world right now. We're all stressed by the economy, by the next COVID wave, by world events. Just turning on the news can lower your vibe. These issues alongside the uncertainty of when it will all improve can cause emotional fluctuations through your thoughts of worry and fear or anxiety or even anger. And then there's the emotional energy debris that you're collecting from others as you just go about your daily business. Just walk into the supermarket can lower your vibe. By the time you get through all the individuals going through the store, you're even radiating out from an energy system that's not even your own anymore. You've kind of grabbed onto vibrational attachments. That's why it's so draining when you go out to places like that at times. Now here's where it gets interesting. When you add those everyday exposures and their stress exposures to all of your unprocessed past experiences which have become embedded in your brain as painful stories or they're attached to unhelpful emotions, suddenly you find yourself rolling your eyes at current displeasing situations just like you've done a hundred other times before. But the current situation of the eye rolling stress reinforces all the unconscious stresses in your mind to come back up again. That's precisely how your subconscious mind is creating your automatic reactions and actions to beliefs and desires and memories that you might not even be aware of. And it comes up literally out of nowhere. These are deeply entrenched subconscious emotions such as fear, frustration, powerlessness, jealousy, or worry, and they're causing your manifestation blocks. Those subconscious and unconscious beliefs have got you convinced that you don't deserve or can't receive or things will be difficult every time you try to manifest something that you really desire. More so, whenever you're exposed to a displeasing event, especially one you've just rolled your eyes at, you reinforce those deeply embedded unhelpful emotions and other past stories and those thoughts keep springing to the surface. 
Do you like remember when you've rolled your eyes at something that someone did and then the next minute out of your mouth comes a whole heap of old stories about the last time that person or someone else pissed you off? That's a block. It's creating a groove of programming in your brain that has you just prone to a certain emotional energy frequency. That might be worry, powerlessness, jealousy, frustration, all of these emotions are low vibration. And in the case of powerlessness, that vibration's like a microwave level. You can check that information out in one of my other vids. But there's more. When you roll your eyes at a current displeasing event and unhelpful emotions get triggered, your unconscious mind automatically draws on past memories and days and weeks and months or even years before because your eyes have moved to a similar stress position in current time at something stressful and that expression has triggered without you even realizing all these unconscious untangled emotions and stories. When this eye rolling with an attached emotion occurs, it triggers a whole heap of neural circuits to light up like a Christmas tree. And before you know it, you've got emotionally flooded or you've gotten into a mood. This low vibe mood sends rockets of energy out into the universe and then you attract back to yourself the very thing you don't want. Usually that's more human drama or trauma. And that, my love, is how your eye rolling habit is creating and reinforcing your manifestation blocks big time. So to summarize, eye rolling at displeasing events reinforces unconscious and subconscious feelings from unresolved past experiences that were painful and it feels to your brain, even though you don't realize it, that you're going back into those old unprocessed feelings i.e. you're rolling your eyes at your partner right now or something's going on at work or the state of the situation in the world reinforces a stress pattern. Those eye rolls subconsciously and unconsciously trigger stress patterns that are related to past unresolved human dramas and problems and they cause you to get emotionally reactive and have a past emotional attachment. And so as we all know, Abraham Hicks says thought equals form. So when it comes to improving your manifestation outcomes, because it's the magnificence of electromagnetic engineering that's inside your brain, that, my darling, is your law of attraction magnet. It's your antennae. So it makes sense that you must manifest your desires and you must do it through rewiring your brain. All those unhelpful thoughts and emotions need to be out of your brain so that your grooves can change in a different way. That dear one clears energy and frequencies of thoughts and starts you thinking about things in new refreshing ways even if that stressful experience that you might be experiencing hasn't changed just yet but it can because when your mind changes and when your rewiring occurs then you show up in different most expansive ways. This dear one influences the energy frequency of your own field, as well as what you send out from your field. So you may better align with the improved co-creative frequencies that will manifest your desires with ease. To best understand the relationship between your conscious, subconscious and unconscious mind and what you're currently wanting to manifest, you must use our chart of emotions and ask some of the deep questions so that you can reveal your manifestation blocks. Once those blocks are revealed, you can then become a person that will magnetize what you desire because you'll just identify what low vibe emotion needs rewiring and listen to the manifest with brain rewiring process that will help you do that. To release your blocks, here's four things you can do. Firstly, write down your number one manifestation goal. And now ask yourself this question, currently, what is it that's standing between you and manifesting that goal? And ask yourself this question, what's standing between you manifesting that goal right now? Why aren't you manifesting it? Now look at the chart and say to yourself, when it comes to that answer to the question I just asked myself, what emotion do I feel? That emotion is the one that's blocking your manifestation success. And that 
emotion is staying attached to the thing that's standing between you and what you want to manifest and it's causing you to keep it in place even though you don't want it there so what you've got to do is try those three questions write down your goal check what your block is check against the chart of the emotion and then go and do the matching process that you need to rewire your brain against that block that's there now if you've got some more questions why don't you book an Ask Amanda chat? It's free. Just click on that link below and come and have a yarn with me and we'll answer some more of those questions that you've got.